Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to day seven of the Deadman Armageddon. We are starting this episode with 68,764 total points, being extremely close to 99 herb lore, definitely one of the goals I want to reach in this episode. In the last one, we managed to finally unlock Rigor and Augury. That was very expensive. So in this episode, I'm hoping I can put this to the test. 98 herb lore, just absolutely playing the market, making profit with herb lore at the moment. Gonna finish this 99 right now by making what like a thousand more ranging pots all right well i got 99 herb lore and i have a giant bug in my room that i need to take care of uh, but there it is i'm happy huge dude i should overhype this a bit more but like i need to run what the hell we managed to solve the in real life situation i had the hornet invade me while i was getting 99 herb lore you can't make this shit up and the way we solved it is we got a glass and we got a paper and it is now outside, so we're chilling. The next plan is probably to train a bit of crafting over the night, and after that, tomorrow is just a full-on PVM day. I'm going to AFK a little bit of woodcutting, starting on 46. And here is 65 woodcutting. I need to get ready for a 4 a.m. bridge now. Okay, start of the bridge, 69.2. I'm going with a little bit more tanky setup today to see if it makes it a little different. Oh, that's Taverny. Okay, let's go. Remington, I mean Remington. Here's the first tier 5. And of course we have a Picare on us straight away. There we go. I don't want to deal with him. He's in like regs gear, but it's it's okay. We bank, we go back. Okay, we got a tier five again. <laughs> Staff bash is my only melee weapon. Dude, it kind of hits though. Oh, there's 93 defense. I want to kite this guy as far as I can. Okay, one more went down here. The breach is ended, but I don't think this guy is saw that there was one more spawning here south. At least I saw it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's it. Bridge done. Okay, not a bad bridge at all, I think. We're now up to 71.8 thousand points. I'm gonna attempt to do more smoke devils. I still wanna do 75, even though I've completed all the combat achievements. Okay, 36 KC. We need 75. That is actually a really good drop. That's 400k. Here's big 60 kill count, 15 left to go, and we are out of here forever. How am I in combat? There's no way. There's no way. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I need to run. How was I in combat then? Get me out, bro. I'll be fine here. Okay. How is this guy? Oh my god! Let's go! <sighs> what a tank, bro. Beautiful p neck proc as well. Could have probably played a little bit more melee. My heart right now? 7 million fucking do, 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 like it's crazy right now how did they find me i didn't think i got hit by anything and i couldn't tab but maybe i got hit like from distance they logged in the room under me i live for another day man but we have to play it risky we have to if we want points 
the risk has to be there. 72.147. I need to do something else for a bit. I think I will do some non-slayer bosses and just get some quick points. I figured out why I didn't notice them hitting me. My player indicators were off. Because of the breach, because otherwise the whole screen is red. That is a rookie mistake. Anyways, I have a hard clue scroll. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We got a one-step hard casket. <gasps> okay, one of the pages. They probably go for a bit, actually. That was not a bad clue. Okay, I'm way too stressed at the moment, so I'm gonna do Varrock Diaries and just train a bit of skilling. Here's 75 agility, and I never even trained it. And that should be the Varok Easy Diary completed. That'll give me a small chance to double my ores when I'm mining. That's why it's good to do. However, I'm not gonna claim it yet. I'm gonna try to do Karamja Diaries as well because I wanna put XP on farming just to skip the early slow levels. There we go. Okay, so I started it, but uh, I'll just kill one mob just in case. Ah, there we go. We have now completed easy tasks. Now I can claim and put all the XP over on farming. By speaking to pirate Jackie the Fruit, we can ask him about Achievement Diary, and we now have Karamja Gloves 1, but most importantly, Antique Lamp. We put this on Farming. And we are now 27 Farming. I need to get this to 30, then I can use the Varok Lamp on it as well. I'm gonna do a quest that should give me a ton of Farming XP, however, I need to go to Mount Quinamortem, which is sometimes very dangerous. There we go, the quest is completed. Such a weird one. If it wasn't for the quest helper, this would be a horrible quest, but uh, there is a level 50 farming and we never even touched it, which is very solid. So just doing that quest basically got me 50 levels, which got me a ton of points, and the quest itself also gives points, so very solid there. And now we can finally complete the Varok diary as well by speaking to Toby. This is what I wanted, Varok Armor 1. I will obviously push all the diaries as high as I can eventually. But we get a little lamp, we put it now on farming as well. The goal is to get to 55 farming, we're now 52. I was planning on mining, but then I realized I don't have the Infernal Smith sigil. I could just buy it, but also at the same time, it's been a little bit of time. The population is at the all-time low. I want to go finish my task and uh, just risk it. Get 75 KC and then dip out forever. I don't want to leave that in the back of my mind for a long time. <laughs> okay, well, that is not ideal. There's a guy here. Hmm. Okay, let's try this world then. Oh. There was a guy out there, but I think he's doing a task. That could be honestly even a good thing. Because that means people might hit him first. Unless he has a team. There's no shot. Bro, why is... Uh, on a last kill, he's like fucking sprinting into me like that. I don't know what he was doing, man. I got caught off guard, I'm going back. But yeah, I don't know, man. The guy just fucking ran into me like that. It's scary, man. Nah, they are... Okay. <laughs> Let's wait a bit and see. It's not looking too nice, is it? Oh, he has a cannon, bro. <laughs> I'll just say lol, lol, lol. I'll just let him do his thing, bro. If they kill me, they kill me. I want my boss. Okay, there we go. That should be 75 KC, if I could hit. Beautiful, completed. We got no good drops, but we got the points. We are now on 73.2 thousand. I'm just seeing if there is an angle where I could do this somewhere here south, but I'm, I'm gonna go to a different world, because I only have 50 of these to kill, but south spots are so shit. Very interesting, yeah. Hi. I knew it. I knew it. Fucking rats. Alright. I knew that it wasn't safe. That is funny though. 
Did I do it too fast? Maybe. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh man, yeah, okay. That is... It's fine because I was doing it right next to the door, but that's funny as fuck. <laughs> oh man. We still have 40 left. I mean, we don't necessarily need to do Slayer content anyways. I did want to finish this and then move on to the next thing. But right now it just doesn't seem possible, so we need to come up with another plan. If you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. Alright, I'll attempt Smoke Devils one more time. I only have 41 to go. And I just spent the last hour planting seeds and just doing random stuff. Alright, there we go. Didn't get lucky with the Colts, but at least we finished the task and we did not die. Oh man, I have a little bit of a relief right now. So Krakens are now fully completed. Smoke Devils are now fully completed. How do we feel? Do I keep going? Maybe I should do something very hard next. Alright, I've made the decision. It is time to try and do some Sire combat achievements. That means I need to attune my Slaughter, attune my Versatility, and take a task from Duradel, and we're gonna be taking Abyssal Demons. We got 198 of them, which is a lot, but really we're just looking to do the Sire for now. The end goal is to complete all the combat achievements and 75 KC. Then I got an emblem. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Okay, that was a little bit better. It's not that bad with magic only, actually. Okay, I'm gonna prep for the next task, and I'm just gonna do one task after one task after one task, and then I'll see if I'll just finish it with magic. I would love to do this with Scythe, but the truth is, the likelihood of dying is so high, I don't want to be risking 15 mil. But then again, I am risking all of that. I don't have a Scythe right now, though. I'm going, like, super defensive, but maybe the solution is to just go extremely aggressive and just risk everything. Okay, we at least did one, which is don't whip me. I didn't do the perfect one, because with magic it's so bad, I feel like. The goal right now is to just do one perfect sire for the CAs, and after that I won't really push it until I have a scythe available. Simply because the kills are too slow, it's not worth my time. But the CAs would be worth it, and there is one when I need to get all four vents down, and I'm gonna see if I can do it with this, otherwise I know for a fact I can do it with a shadow. But again, I don't have a shadow right now, so there's like... Money problems, I guess, but yeah, let's get it done. Ah, this is... the mage is not the play for this shit. Okay, I need to figure out the money situation, I need to sell another crystal or something and get a scythe. Alright, so funnily enough, in episode number one I finished Perilous Moons, but I never opened this chest. And we have 73.6, I do think you should get some points here. And we can bank all. Oh, look at this guy. He's doing it, okay, hi. Anyways, so apparently I got a task there. I got a bunch of points, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna shoot a couple of Nagwas. I wanna see if I use these sigils. I don't have the range version of Ninja yet, but maybe with these sigils I can just AFK my range a little bit and chill. And the blades are actually fairly decent, so I can then later on use those blades. And I know there's other safe spots as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the safe spot. Gonna get a level or two, because the blades are basically a budget scythe, so I might use that on Sire. We will see, we'll see. And there's 85 range, I just wanted to get that quickly, because I saw how close it was to a level. Alright, I bought a shadow for 6.6 .6 mil, which wasn't too expensive. We're gonna try to do mage only sire with shadow, see if this is any better. Regardless, I need this to get the vents down for the combat achievement task, so it was like almost a no-brainer to get it. I just wanna see how it feels for the actual kill itself. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, if I get this kill, this should be a CA. Let's see. Oh my god, how many tasks did we just complete? Hold up, I'm gonna TP out just so we check. I think I just did basically every single CA in one go. That felt really good. Oh, I can't see how many points I had before, but this must have given me so many points. Yeah, we fully skyrocketed. So what we did is like, don't stop moving. So I never got caught with the pulls. They grew up so fast. Never took too long pretty much to do the kill. Respiratory Runner did all four in one go and Perfect Sire all in one go completed. So all we gotta do right now is get 50 kill count and 20 kill count. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I usually hate doing CAs, but once they're done, then when I know, oh, all I need is just kill counts, then it starts opening up and it starts being a lot more enjoyable. Okay, so one thing that I might change is I might take a Titanium Relic. Instead of the accuracy. Accuracy is great, I hit all the time. But I wanna try how it feels with titanium. The problem is, I uh, get hit super hard in this phase with magic. 
All right, so here we go. Get rid of meticulousness, put on titanium, and this should hopefully help, especially with combination with restoration. So as long as I'm hitting, it should be fine. Yeah, this setup is very nice for vents. It gets them one down every single time, which saves a ton of time. And now if the titanium works really well for this phase as well, then I found like a really solid setup here. Maybe it would be worth it for me to invest into like Arims as well. But at that point, I'm risking a lot for a multi-trip. It feels like no different at all, aside from the fact that I'm not taking damage. This is where I'm gonna see if it's either good or shit. But I'm seeing a lot less damage taken. Usually I'd be down to like 20 HP now, but instead I'm full. Yeah, titanium is very nice. Very, very nice. Sire really is the type of boss that messes you up when you're first starting it, and then once it starts to roll, it's just kind of nice and enjoyable, I'm not even gonna lie. 20 KC, Abyssal Adapt, now we only have a 50 KC task to do on the Sire, but depending on how this will go, I will most likely go for 75. If not, I'll stop at 50, we'll see, unsure at the moment. KC 25, we got a Sigil of Potion Master, a little bit of a disaster, uh, but that's okay. We are now officially a third of the way completed with this boss. And it takes quite a bit of time, let's put it that way. So yeah, it's usually like two minute kills. So it's like a three hour process, I guess. We're over 40kc now and still no sign of Unsired, which is pretty unfortunate, I think. Finally, okay, there we go. Unsired on 49kc, I was waiting for this to happen. We're gonna cash this in and then the very next kc will be completely done with combat achievements as well. So it's coming together, definitely getting into the groove of things. And the more you do Sire, the easier it gets. Okay, let's take a look. First bludgeon piece. I don't really think anything here is necessarily good. I guess I would be okay with whips. I don't think I'll get two more unsires to where I could complete a full bludgeon, for example. Uh, but we'll take it. I mean, it's a first piece. And there it is. Abyssal Sire fully completed, but not exactly fully. Because by killing it 75 times, I can get more points. And I think it is worth my time to actually fully complete this boss. I never want to really take Slayer tasks again and come back to Sire. So we're just going to do it whilst we're here. Get 25 out of the way and then never come back to this place. Also, on a side note, we've gotten a lot of points because after you complete every single combat achievement, you get a nice bonus point. So we're now on 75.4 thousand. So if I were to look at high scores right now, I would be currently sitting as a rank 30, which is uh, very good. And we are moving these points up quite quickly. 60 kill count is where I'm stopping for now. The breach is in five minutes and we're going to do the breach today with a shadow. So it's going to be a little bit better DPS wise, but a bit afraid that I'll be targeted a lot. So let's see how the breach goes. North of Ardi. Okay, let's go. Just want to try this. Okay, I have this unlocked. That's really good. 75,600 at the beginning. I'm going to be very conservative with what tier fives I actually pick up. I think having food is most valuable. Oh, emblem with the dragon, halberd as well. Yeah, shadow is hitting hard with my sigils. Three emblems on the floor right now. <laughs> and I'm not picking them up. Meaning I'm getting a lot of good damage down though, that's important. Okay, and then when I run out of restores, I can pick up one emblem. And this is where I'm gonna probably quickly bank. I don't wanna risk it, not with this gear. And the bank is right here, so it's probably worth my time. There's another tier 5, getting a lot of those in this one. Fucking 65, brother, man. <laughs> a double combo aid there. That bird does not kid, man. That's a dangerous combo. Jed and Kriara. That's the breach over. And that is us running. <gasps> I got Morrigans on the last kill. What? It's not even the over. There we go, our very first PvP weapon right at the very end of the breach. Oh, I'm taking damage. I'm running, bro. There we go, it's over, it's not spawning anymore. Deep, yeah, instantly on. He definitely has Void Waker. Shout out to Looney. Alright, there we go, we got it, actually, wow. Probably one of the worst PvP drops you can get, but we actually landed on a PvP drop table. 
these are so rare, this Deadman mode, like, it's crazy. But most importantly, we dealt so much damage with a Shadow. That was very good to see. And we got to 77.9 thousand points, which is also very good for how stacked this uh, breach was. Damn, all in all, amazing. I'm gonna chill for a few minutes, then I'm gonna finish off Sire, and then I need to get some rest. This is where I'll be ending today's episode on 77,952 total points. We're also ranked 30 deadman points at the moment, which is honestly very good because we have a lot of easy ways to make points still available. We have not touched chambers, we have not done any TOB, and we have a lot of bosses to kill even as a first time kill still. So we have a lot of easy ways to make points still available. So in the next few days, I'll be pushing that rank up. The goal is obviously to end the deadman mode as a front page player, but if we can push that even further, that's something I'm gonna be working towards. If you wanna help me out on the goal to 110,000 subscribers, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you again tomorrow with another Deadman Mode video. Have a good one, and bye-bye.